just a moment with Bowling Green's head coach, Calvin Head, and his student athletes, number one, Meadow Tisdale, and 44, Lynn Kayla James. They just made it to the podium. If you have any questions for them, go ahead and enter them into the chat feature, and we'll relay them to coach and the student athletes. Thank you. Coach, played a little longer than you maybe had hoped or thought you would. We've been uh, here a long time. <laughs> believe it's one of just a handful of double overtime games in the history of this tournament. Does that just say something about um, these two teams? But it shows resiliency from both groups. You know, when we were watching them on film and, and getting into our scout, you know, we, we acknowledge how tough-minded they are, how greedy they are. Um, how they guard you. They rebound. They're physical. They execute. They're disciplined. So we knew it was going to be a grind. We didn't know it was going to take – Eight extra minutes, but um, we're glad to be on that side, on this side of it. Coach Larry Vaught has a question. He said, "Could you talk about the play of Meadow, um, especially in the second half? Was this a typical game for her?" Um, I'm gonna tell you what. She exerted so much energy on the defensive end. Uh, I'm extremely proud of what she brought from a winning um, mindset. Then in the second half, she really started getting loose and getting going, attacking. Um, the, the, the basket like we, like we wanted her to. Uh, she got big rebounds. Um, she had a big block shot there at the end in, the, in one of those overtimes. Um, so, she, I mean, she just she played like a, like a champ. And, and, and when she does that, uh, our needle moves. This is from Don Owen. Coach, talk about the rebounding uh, of Lynn Kayla. Um, how did you keep Kiefer from being a factor today? We've worked on that for <laughs> – quite some time, and that was point of emphasis. They'll, they'll tell you on our scout report, keys to winning today, uh, rebounding was the, was the factor. Um, these two did a great job of keeping Kiefer off the boards, using their strength and athleticism. Um, they, they went up and grabbed the ball with two hands like, they were, like, like they've been taught, um, and they were just very, very, very competitive on, on the boards. Mott and Kiefer do a good job of getting rebounds, and I thought they did a good job of kind of uh, neutralizing that. Like Kayla, could you talk about the emotion that goes into a double overtime game? What's going through everybody's minds as the game just keeps going? Well, we're just thinking we got to pull it out. And like Kaya got fouled out there at the end, and she was very emotional. But we just told her we, she got to keep her head up because they're going to win for her. So what about that three that Emma hit? Just when that went in, just what did that do for the team at that point? You know, all of our hope went up the end. Now we just had a go on the other, uh, other side and play defense, and that just gave us the momentum to keep pushing. Coach, on the final play, uh, Don Owens' question, were you expecting a three there? Did you think that going for the win was a possibility? We, we did, and that's why we called the other timeout after we saw their setup. We talked <laughs> both of those timeouts, don't let them get a three off. If they do, it's got to be highly contested. Um, we did a good job. The rebound was probably even more important. Putting a freshman in in that situation who hadn't played all all game, she came up with the biggest rebound uh, of the game, in my opinion. Meadows is Larry Vaught. Excuse me, I don't know this gentleman, but he just wondered if Vito was here watching and what kind of mentor he was to you. Uh, yes, sir. He's he's hard. Uh, he just wants me to be great. So, yeah. What were you able to do on defense, Coach, the last possessions of regulation and the first overtime? We just really got after their guards and just applied really good ball pressure without fouling. That was our game plan the entire time because Keith was such a load down there. If we gave them easy access to pass the ball, she, she would kill us. And so our guards did a really good job of playing good perimeter defense without fouling. And, um, you know, between Kaya, Emma, Janiah, Tanea, what they did defensively on the guards is outstanding. We'll just wrap up with the for the players. Um, Jeff Lightsey, WBKO. How does it feel to get a win here at the state tournament after not being able to play last season? It feels great. We wanted this and we've been wanting it. We just got to keep working so we can get to the end. It feels good because we're trying to prove a lot of people wrong and show everybody what we're really made of. So I'm glad we're a step closer to where we want to go. Congratulations, and we'll uh, see you on Friday, and thanks for taking time. Thank you. Thank you. Now expected to be joined by Bishop Brossert. Lady Stangs, 10th region champions. 
Uh, their head coach, Kevin Bundy, he is expected to bring number two, Jordan Rowe, and 14, Marie Kiefer with him. Coach Bundy, it was a, a classic. You know, not many double overtime games in this tournament. And, of course, you'd rather win the game. But to be able to get here and play one like that, just give us your overall impressions. Well, um, both teams were a little bit nervous, I thought, early in the ball game, And uh, I, I think we would both probably like to have the first uh, several minutes back um, because we both played a little bit rushed at the offensive end. But uh, both teams have played extremely well and hard at the def defensive end, which, which probably was part of the reason both teams looked sluggish offensively. I thought both teams did a good job settling down at halftime. Um, and the second half was played uh, uh, much more crisply. Um, it looked a lot more like a state tournament game in the second half, I thought. Um, I thought both teams really, really played hard. Um, as, as the game unfolded, you know, we played a significant amount of minutes at, at a size disadvantage, but, but we really did a good job with ball pressure and fought like heck to keep them off the glass. And uh, we hit some big shots down the stretch to, 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 to keep us in the game, too. And they made some big plays down the stretch. Uh, I don't know if you, if you take the second half and the two overtimes, I don't know if you can find a better game in the Sweet 16. Uh, this is from Don Owen. Question for Coach. How did uh, Kiefer fouling out change your offense, and what did you do after she fouled out to keep your team in the game? We do what we do every day. Um, we, we know how to win games. We know what we have to do to win games, and, and we, we play hard and practice every day um, so, so that we don't look for any crutches if something doesn't go our way. Um, Nobody in the state wants to play without a player like Marie, and, and, and we sure didn't want to play without her, but that was the hand we were dealt. Um, offensively, it affected us an awful lot, to be honest with you, because when you have a player of Marie's caliber, um, you want to do your best to make sure you run your offense through her. Um, obviously, we put other people in her spots for rep, reps, but you know it's hard, it's hard to duplicate some of the things that Marie can do. Uh, the question for Jordan. Uh, you know, getting to play in Rupp Arena in a double overtime game that people will remember for quite a few years. Just talk about the, what goes into that. Of course, you want to win. We know that. But now that it's, uh, you know, the emotions now that you look back on it. Um, well, Coach just got done saying in the locker room. Obviously, it's going to sting a little bit. But I think once that kind of goes away, I mean, this is a day I always remember playing here with my best friends. And, you know, win or lose, we got to step on that floor. And that's been a dream of ours for so long. So I'm really proud of us, team. Marie, how frustrating was it to have to watch the last few minutes from the sideline? And But did you have a lot of trust in your teammates as well? Yeah, I definitely had a lot of trust in them. I thought we could pull it off. It definitely wasn't the outcome we wanted. But um, it was just a chance to play at Rupp and everything. It was uh, Larry Vaught asked, were you aware of how close you were to a triple-double? And then how tough was it having to watch? It was really tough having to watch. I was on the edge of my seat. I'd much rather be playing than sitting there watching, not being able to help or anything. Uh, Coach, just talk about the girls sitting to your right and left and this overall, this team, what they mean to you. <laughs> uh, I, I, I can't put into words what this team means to me right this second. Um, they mean everything to me. Uh, I've watched them grow up. Um, I've watched them become fine representatives of Bishop Rosser and some of the best young ladies that, uh, that anybody could ever ask for. The best daughters, the best leaders, the best sisters, the best friends. That's what I'll always remember. I'll always, I'll always remember this game, but that's what I'll remember the most. Um, talking about Marie, Marie has great, great athletic ability and, and, and God's blessed her with a lot of gifts. But what nobody gets to see is how hard Marie works to get to the level she's been um, because you, you don't, you don't become the kind of player Maria's and you don't get the, the things that she's been offered without hard work. Um, she's been, she's added a, a, a piece to her game all four years. She's been a Bishop Rossert and she's a complete player because of it and triple double 
triple doubles, um, you know, they don't surprise us with Marie. Jordan's worked harder for everything she's gotten in the game of basketball than any girl I've ever seen. Um, Jordan lived in our gym for four summers. She was in there constantly working on shooting the basketball, handling the basketball, conditioning herself. She was constantly asking me questions about what am I looking for in this? What am I looking for in that? Um, if I told Jordan, you got to take a better angle, I only had to tell her once. Um, I don't know that I've ever had to repeat anything to you in four years, Jordan. And, and I mean, that's, that's just the kind of kid she is. But I've got four more seniors that are an awful lot like them. Absolutely. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and let you all go. Enjoy this. Congratulations on a great season. Thank you.